Now, as long as we're on the subject of Israel, and we've covered the curse, since I talked about 1 Thessalonians 5.3, I want to bring that in to the circle of news right now because it is extremely important because this prophecy is about to take place. 1 Thessalonians, again, if you missed my video today, my first video, it says this in 1 Thessalonians 5.3, For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. So at the time that Israel is calling for peace and safety, they're not going to get peace and security. What they're going to get is sudden destruction. Well, somebody may ask, what is the sudden destruction? Well, if you know the rest of the Bible, you'll know that the destruction is war. And the war that we're looking at that hasn't been fulfilled is Psalm 83. That war has to do with the people who are actually dealing with Israel right now calling for peace and safety and there is no way that there's going to be peace and safety when the Lord told us beforehand it was going to end up being sudden destruction. So what I want to show you now is how this news today is showing us with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that even though Kerry is back over in Israel trying to make a peace process go, that it's not going to go anywhere. And the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was showing the people why it's not going to really go anywhere. So let me go over to the news and play the news for you, and then I'll connect the dots again. Now the headline to this article is, While Kerry Pushes Peace Talks, keep in mind Thessalonians, when they're calling for peace and safety, Israel leader airs criticism. So let's play it. Palestinians must finally recognize the Jewish state, and Israel's security needs must be met. Benjamin Netanyahu. All right, so be, even before I go any farther, the call for peace and safety, and right out of his mouth, security. This is what the Lord warned, peace and safety, or peace and security. Yahoo, Israel's Prime Minister, has recently made Palestinian recognition of Israel as a Jewish state an essential condition for peace. They say we're willing to recognize the Jewish people. We're willing to recognize Israel. I say that's not my question. Are you willing to recognize the Jewish state, the national state of the Jewish people? And as of now, the answer is no. Why not? He's been mentioning recognition for years, but by emphasizing it now, critics say he's introducing a poison pill into the ongoing peace negotiations. We have to sit together, negotiate together, and reach a mutual compromise in which a demilitarized Palestinian state recognizes the one and only Jewish state. And as long as you refuse, peace cannot be established. So there you have it. Nothing is going to change. We're at the status quo with the peace talks. Now, we believe, others like me who have been studying the Bible for a long time, others who are really concerned about Israel's safety, we know what the Lord has already said and we know what's going to happen. So watch the news because you're going to see another war soon and that war will be with the same people that are calling for peace and safety right now and it will be the same people that you see in Psalm 83. Without a question, Psalm 83 has to be fulfilled and so we need to be on the guard. And one thing we know for sure, it is no coincidence that the Lord talks about peace and safety and we see almost on a weekly basis, somewhere in the news, Israel calling for peace and security. It is not a coincidence.